This is The Sim Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, and welcome to today's edition of The Pit Stop for you, The Pit Crew. You are the real star of today's show, and uh, very happy to be here today. Happy Monday to everybody out there. I have been gone for an entire week, and I have to tell you something. Uh, I don't know why I come back to really crappy internet. Uh, thank you, Spectrum. I pay a lot of money for what is showing as a yellow stream condition, so I hope you guys are seeing this okay. Uh, I hope it's coming through all right. And uh, anyway, like I said, it's great to be back. I've been gone for a week, and I have to tell you guys, I really missed you guys. I missed doing this. I missed hanging out. And one thing that uh, dawned on me over the week as I was gone is we've done a great job of interacting, a great job of engaging conversation, but I really think it's time we step things up a little more. So I'm hoping you guys really jump in with some opinions on certain topics uh, I might even slow the show down a little bit more. I always talk about cutting out the fat part of the show, like all the extra tidbits, NVIDIA graphics card, things like that. And I'm thinking I'd rather talk about certain things that are really cool or deserve some attention. So the only way I can really get engaged with you guys is to slow it down. I'm not going to do this overnight, but I think that's just one tempo difference that I, I, I thought while I was away, I would like to really get better at doing. So, uh, and you're going to see a lot more of that from the Sim Pit in the future. And, you know, we talked this morning about maybe getting an interview with Brendan, our thumbnail star of the day. We'll get to that story in just a moment. Um, but uh, I, I definitely want to get more interaction going. This isn't just about reviews. This isn't just about watching me race and drive. And it's not just about the news. It's about a community and our thoughts, our opinions. So, uh, cutting out the fat. Well, she know the fat, the boring topics, the things we don't need to talk about so much is really what I'm talking about. So, um, yes, Brad, exactly, exactly. I want that. Racing with gloves and shoes. Go. Just, what are your thoughts? Do you do it? Is it a necessary? Anyway, maybe not that right now. Brendan, Brendan Lay is here in the, in the house. Brendan, congratulations. You are our star of today's show. That is absolutely true. And I've been meaning to drop you an, an email because I really hope you and I can arrange to do an interview very quickly. I want to hear all about the latest round, the, the year two, so to speak, of the F1 2018 eSport Championship. So the man, the myth, the legend, the shedded, I don't know, 20 pounds and looking, uh, looking fit as can be, Brendan Lay. Um... Brendan, do I mess up your name? I I forget. I don't know why I have such a hard time with uh, your last name. It is Lay, not Lee. Is that correct? Um, anyway, okay, so what's going on in the world of eSport? Ah, that is the topic of the day. I, uh, what is going on in the world of sim racing? It really is what is going on in the world of eSport today, though. That's, that's for sure. So let me remember how to do my controls here. I'll take down my graphic, and we're going to get to things. So Forza Motorsport today, before we get to things... Uh, uh, Forza Motorsport did something that I have thought about doing for years. I just thought, oh, it's going to be too difficult. It's just going to be too hard to do. People won't get it. And I was just going to show a video of me driving where you couldn't see my screens and see if any of you could guess the track that I was driving based on gear selection, based on when I'm turning and how severely I'm turning, maybe bra uh, braking zones, things like that. Are there enough cues, visual cues of what the driver is doing in order to know what track they're actually at and how, how good at knowing tracks would you have to be? Um, so anyway, uh, right here is a, a video, I guess, that they did at Forza. Guess the track. Head over to Renault Sport F1 for a chance to win one of five Xbox One X consoles, the full real deal console. Look at the video of this steering wheel. Guess the Forza 7, key, there's a clue, circuit that it's driving and include R, RS Spirit for the win in your answer. And so then, uh, wait, hold on, that's just the, the imagery. Here we go, here's the video one. And so again, can you, I haven't tested myself just yet. Uh, Dave Blair, you know everything Forza, you know the track list like the back of your hand. Can you figure it out? That was a third gear section. Looked like a little left, right. There's a gentle right, building up speed, a little leaning to the left, a little and down just a little bit. This almost looks Coda-esque through like fast S's I'm seeing. Anyway, 
This is something I want to do forever. I just thought it might be too big of a challenge. Is that something? Um, for age, nothing's off topic on the pit stop. Uh, I do not know, but we can probably look it up. Um, and I don't know if I would necessarily trust their date just yet. Uh, because I think they're still, you know, at that first phase of production. Round one, in the defense of any new company, and in all fairness, first round of production is the great unknown for these people. And, you know, they get dates, and then things get pushed back, and maybe it's just one little part that didn't show up that pushes a whole other thing. So I, I don't know if I would hold them to their date just to say either. Um, also, Playground Games through Forza Horizon 4 also talking about their, uh, their live one today at the studio. Uh, that was five hours ago, so that's going to be 10 o'clock Pacific. So just after this, another one of the Forza Horizon mixers find out things going on there. Laguna Seca, Pelican says. Well, go, Pelican, if you think so, then go take that hashtag RS Spirit for the win Put in your answer and post it at Renault Sport F1, and you could win an Xbox One X console. I would like an Xbox One X console. Is it Lime Rock Chicane? Perhaps. You know, you might have to, if you want to, if you really want to win, you might have to go drive that track in order to know is that really the configuration. Uh, we can almost assume what type of car they're driving in. I hope. I hope. Uh, all right, what else? Forza also had their This Week in Review by Brian Eckberg. Meckberg is his online name. Um, talking about various things, including the new thing, uh, Fortune Island, coming from Forza Horizon. Um, Series 3 stream coming Monday. That's today. Gymkhana 10 cars. We've talked about that a ton. Spring is here, so they've changed the seasons once again. Winter's here for most of us. Uh, I guess for me, this would still be spring. We only kind of have like two seasons in L.A. We have kind of like spring and summer. That's all we really get. Uh, spring uh, Forza-thon, spring Forza-thon, blah, blah, blah. So plenty going on over at the Forza site uh, for you guys. All right, this is Champions Day. This shirt sure is Champions Day. So GT Sport, um, well, we have a few things. This one here is uh, bah, 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 the World Finals live from Mexico. So the actual video play of the big event is there at the Gran Turismo page. In addition to that, so just to keep it simple, GT Planet, they are talking all about Igor Fraga. And I was having a conversation before the show. It's like, this was this was the hero of the event. This guy was the guy. And whether he started in first and one or whether he started in last in one, nobody really had much of anything for Igor Fraga when it really came down to it. But he is the official GT Sport FIA certified Nations Cup champion uh so yeah this guy uh really did really well not only in the race itself but in the qualifiers i have not had a chance to watch the race but i heard from three different people that the finish was amazing so it might be worth getting over that gran turismo page uh on twitter and watch the video in those somewhat goofy cars no offense but that's my opinion there uh, I can name that track in three turns. Absolutely, T-Bone. That's the name of the game. If you guys think that it's something, I would be totally into doing that as a contest here at the Sim Pit. Maybe give away, you know, I have a box of the red ones. I don't sell the red ones per se, but maybe we can make these giveaways and uh, do a name that track. And uh, it's tough, but hey, you're going to get a shirt. So anyway, there you go. There you go. Um, yeah, it had some really fast, chicane looking sections. So GT Planet also talking about the, the big event. So uh, lots of imagery. I, you know, I could be here all day long and, I, you know, with so many different things to cover. Um, you know, your guys' thoughts on the events and the, the magnitude of eSport. I mean, look at what just went on this weekend. So here, again, here it is, the FIA GTC Nations Cup World Finals. Some cool pictures over at GT Planet. A video of uh, one of the events, another video and plenty going on. But once again, congratulations to Igor Fraga uh, on, on kicking ass. Kicking ass. And blue make green. Love those Red Bull cars. <laughs> I don't like them much, Josh. Um, good, good to see real-life drivers doing well in sim. And, you know, 
Brendan, that's a great thought or topic right there when I talk about being engaged with you guys and what we're really doing. But we're really at that point in sim racing. I mean, do you guys realize the amount of real-life racers who are phenomenal sim racers and vice versa, the amount of phenomenal sim racers who have turned or are either simultaneously real-life racers? The list goes on and on and on. And think of how many of the majority of those are actually some of the best of the best. And I've said for years, if you take the best sim racers and give them a real shot in a real car, every single one of them has done better than expectations. So when you look back to like uh, GT Academy, every single one of those winners held their own on a real life track with little or no experience. Uh, you think of the Mazda one with like Glenn McGee and Camille Fronchok and uh, Josh Allen. All three of them did better than expected when out on real life track i mean to jump into those series and be like a, a contender at all is is to say a lot it's very very cutthroat series so anyway um brendan but like you said he he's an f3 driver did you say champion or just uh i missed that uh he's an f3 champ so i mean look at that look at that uh anyway thinking of other guys uh you know it's like a uh rudy van buren had driving experience um, you know, obviously your Lando Norm Norris, your Tommy Ostgards, your uh, the list goes on and on and on. Anyway, all right, moving right along. We'll be here all day long. GT Sport did put out another page while I was away. This is a big deal. This is the FIA GT Championships 2018 World Final Monaco coming up on. Uh, well, that's this is the. <laughs> Uh, this is the page they set up for the, the big deal, anyway. Um, but that page went live, which they are kind of late on, to be honest with you. Uh, anyway, Cody's blog also talking about it's here, the F1 eSport. i got to name it properly. New Balance Pro Series Final. Uh, Brendan, did you, did you get some cool shoes from New Balance? I mean, I know you didn't race in them. Uh, and, and was New Balance shocked? And upset that everybody wanted to take off their New Balance in order to drive the Sims. Mm. Don't answer those questions. You and I will talk. We need to do this as a, a interview. <laughs> Thank you, Todd. Thank you very much. All right. Cody's, once again, they're calling for game testers. You want to get on the inside, see things behind the scenes before everybody else. I'm sure you're going to have to sign an NDA. And it could be getting your pinky toe into the water, into a career in sim racing if you wanted. But Cody's is, once again, cattle call for game testers. You'll find that at the Codemasters Twitter page. Just click on careers and go find it and do that. In addition to that, they do have the Dirt Rally 2.0 Deluxe Edition details out. So if you want to know everything about what you're going to be able to pre-order, I'm assuming, on Dirt 2, Dirt Rally 2, I should say, uh, they now have a link to that at the Codemasters page as well. Uh, what else? Obviously, they're uh, talking about uh, the big uh, the big Codemasters event. And where did that go? How does that slip? Where did where did my Cody's go? It's here, Cody's. I'm 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 on it. I'm sorry. I'm just a little out there. Uh, we're building up to it, so to speak. McLaren Shadow has a bunch talking about. For one thing that doesn't have anything to do with the uh, F1 2018 eSport is introducing Frenchman Gregoire Foray, the third and final real racing entrant for the McLaren Shadow semifinals on December 1st. So we've seen various different competitions going on, building up to the big put them all against each other McLaren Shadow sem semifinals. Uh, which is coming up really fast. That's only two weeks away at this point, if you think about it. But now uh, the third entrant from the real racing is that that's a mobile game, isn't it? Um, I don't know, T Bone. I don't know, but I feel very badly for her and her family. Um. Dirt Rally. Yep, I'm super excited, too. I'm jet-lagged, that's for sure. I'm super tired. You wouldn't believe what I went through in the last week. I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys a sanitized version of it uh, coming up in a few days, probably. But, all right, 
with the F1 2018 eSport finale, one of the big teams, one of the really uh, good at marketing themselves teams is McLaren, of course, because they have the shadow competition going up simultaneously. But uh, here, you know, anytime you can hear Ollie, it's worth the listen. Ollie Pakala has something to say, so that's on the page. And then we got just cool photos. So, I mean, you... <laughs> This event that they put on that Brendan here in the audience uh, uh, dominated all season, not just this event, the whole thing. Nobody had anything. Uh, there's a good shot of Bono Hui in his rig. Socks. We're going to play the socks game. Brendan, did anybody? No, don't answer. I'm not going to ask you any more questions. Uh, I'll send you an email right after the show. Uh what else? Uh, here's the Gfinity. So this is that big eSport arena. I mean, this is where we call home. This is this is the Monaco of sim racing right now, if you think about it. Uh, anyway, lots of buildup out of the McLaren team going into the big event. And you can find all that through McLaren Shadow. In addition to that, provisional results. Uh, Enzo finishing P8, Bono and P10. There they are together. That's a cool shot of the two uh, McLaren drivers side by side. Enzo in the background, Bono in the front. Uh, what else? There they are playing and hanging out with Lando Norris even, which I think it was his birthday. So happy birthday, Lando. Uh, anyway, so that's what's going on. And in the end, uh, the McLaren guys looks like uh, Bono went from 7th to 4th. And... They were, oh, I'm sorry. They climbed from 7th to 4th in the constructor standings, combined 101 points. So that's one angle on the eSport. Every time Sean says socks, you drink. <laughs> that would be classic. <clears throat> All right, forgive me for coughing and taking a drink. Um, anyway, wow, 66,000 entered. Oh, that's for the competition. Now the elite final. Few are ready to do battle once more. We are still on F1 2018. This is from the F1 eSport page itself. That entrance that is awfully uh, similar to the uh, other, the Forza World Championships. Anyway, a little uh, Martin Stefanko. Oh, there's Martin. There's Mitchie. Mitchie, uh, he's a avid Tronic Racing driver, isn't he? Anyway, everybody gearing up for it from their perspective and things. And there we go. Breaking news, unofficial result. There's nothing unofficial about it. Approval pending, but as it stands, he is the 2018 F1 New Balance Esport Pro Series champion. Congratulations, Brendan. Dude, I cannot believe that not only did you win it two years in a row, but this year to win it against, you know, I mean, Bono Hui is arguably one of the best sim racers on planet Earth. Graham Carroll is just amazing in anything he drives real life, getting back to drive real life versus sim racers. Uh, uh, I, you know, Ali Pakala didn't even make the... I mean, it was him, Enzo, and uh, Bono. Uh, you beat everybody who was at Visa Vegas for the million-dollar event. Every single one of them was in this. Patrick Holzman is there. You beat the best sim racers on planet Earth, and... I think in the first year, it's safe to say that you beat the best F1 2017 drivers there are. But this year, you beat everybody, and you beat them when they were working as a team. You had those guys, McLaren, playing as a team, trying to come at you. And and meanwhile, they happen, coincidentally or not. Uh, you got guys who are, are also team teammates at Redline, who are now teammates on a team. Anyway, uh... Dude, Brendan, it, it's just amazing what you pulled off. And, and you know, you uh, are absolutely going down in history as one of the greatest sim racers to ever play our, our sport. Uh, and if there was a Hall of Fame, I mean, you'd get my vote in year one. So, uh, I, don't, I, I mean, I don't want to pat you on the back too, too much, but, I mean, I really do mean it. I, what you accomplished in this particular event is just amazing. Amazing. So, congratulations once again. Uh, also, Formula One, the game, also showing off all their highlights of everything going on, uh, including some shots of uh, all the build-up to the event. I mean, again, what also made this so amazing is these guys weren't just working as typical sim racers. There we are 
after eight to ten races, Brendan in the 170. <laughs> that's why I say unofficial. My ass. 171 point points. Uh, Daniel Bre- Berezne uh, with 98 after eight of ten races. Uh, Mercedes just killing it, uh, riding the coattails of Brendan, of course. So anyway, uh, uh, the fact that these guys also the the fact that they are working for and branded. Uh, there's there's one great shot here that I really want to find. There's so much. Here's an interview with Brendan right after the race. At the end of race nine. Gotta hear it. Gotta listen to it. Um, here is some action from race nine. And hold on. Here we go. That winning feeling. I uh, Brendan, I hope you're cool. Well, it's up there. You there's Anyway, this is right after it's all over. This is, this is immediate... Whoa. Might be by I have a harmful virus, apparently. All right, which one's doing it? Oh, wow. We got a real problem over here, people. Bear with me. I have no power on my browser. Wow. I don't know what the hell is going on here, people. Can you hear this? Here, I'm going to turn on my Windows audio. Mother! 